All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial today. Um, so in the last few videos, I've been using raster data. We're working with GDAL a little bit. And I wanted to show you in this video how you can download raster data anywhere in the United States for free. And so I'm going to show you two different methods how we can do that in this video. So first, um, let's just go ahead and search for geospatial data gateway. And this is going to take us to the Natural Resource Conservation Service website here, uh, part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. And when you get to this page, there's the Geospatial Data Gateway. Just click on this Get Data button here. And this is going to take you over to a new website. And it's going to give you some different options for selecting data. So you can select by state, and then it's going to take you down by county. Um, you can change the method by clicking on this green link, which is what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to order by an interactive map. This will pull up a map of the United States. And uh, I'm going to zoom in here on Utah. Northern Utah, there's a place where I've done some work in the past. Um, and we'll go up there and we'll get some data for that area. Okay. And so I'm just looking at getting some data probably for this area right in here, this Temple Fork area. You've seen me working with these data before. And once I'm here, I can do Select Area. And I'm just going to do something like this. It doesn't have to be exact here. And what this will do, will find any digital elevation model tiles that fall up in your study area and it will do this um, for all the different products that are available through the website. So when I'm done, I'll click Accept Area. And now I have all these different data types I can get. I can get the PLSS, um, there, are there are census data, there are climate and precip data, um, all these different things. I'm going to scroll down, here we are, to Elevation. And so you can see in this area, there are two different um, elevation data sets. There's the 30 meter and the 10 meter. I'm going to get the 10 meter. It's a little higher resolution. I'm going to click on that. And once I have that, if I scroll down to the bottom of the page here, I can click continue. Okay, and it's just going to give me all this information here and I can click continue and now it's going to ask for my email all right and it's going to email me a link when it's ready and I can click on that link to download a zip file so I will click continue here and now I'm just going to pause the video um, and then we need to click place order so you can see the estimated time to complete your order is five minutes. So click place order. All right, guys. So I put the order in. Now I'm back over at my email. I got this email that, with the subject gateway order. And if I scroll down, it tells me my ordered items here, the national elevation data set 10 meter. And I can click on this link to get the download. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> And it's going to take just a second. There it is. I'm going to save this um, in the same directory where I save most of my data for tutorials, which is just in this temporary directory. And we'll just save this zip folder here. So we'll click Save. And this should download pretty quick. It's only 7 megabytes. So now I'll open this folder, Show in Folder. And where did it go? There it is. So let's go over and we'll extract these files. I'll use 7-zip, um, extract files, and OK. And then let's come to the folder. So in here, I have elevation, and I have this .tif file, which should be what I'm looking for. So let's run to QGIS real quick. We'll just start a blank new project. Um, and we'll go to the browser, see 
and I save this in tap and I have my elevation here, elevation, and here is my TIFF file. Okay, and so there you can see my digital elevation model. This right here is Temple Fork, and this is Spawn Creek, and that's the area that I was interested in. Um, so that's how you can get it from the geospatial data gateway. So there's one of our methods. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go do another method here. And um, for this method, I'm going to go to the USGS National Map. The National Map Viewer is what I Googled here. Click on this first one, the viewer nationalmap.gov slash basic. And this is going to bring us to an interactive map, hopefully. It's taking a long time to load. Anyway, while this is going, let's just go and search something else. We'll do download USGS elevation data and see where this takes us. Okay, and so we can come to the national map here. And we can go to TNM topography, which will probably take us to the exact same place we are going before. Looks a little different. And this one's still not opening, so if this pops up first, here we go, we're going to use this. Okay. So here, this is just a topographic map. This is, doesn't actually have the data in it. This is just a, oh, well, maybe it does have the data. It just took a minute to open up. So here are some controls. So now you can see our layers, base maps, add data. So let's come back into the same area we were and see if we can get it from here. So right there is Temple Fork, Spawn Creek. Let's see if we can select. Nope. I can't. Oh. Click data download here. Open oh, it's going to take us right back to the same map. So there's some scheduled maintenance today, so that's why we could be having troubles here. I'm going to close out of that one. Let's see if we can get some elevation products. So we can get some elevation products here. One third arc second, which is going to be about 30 meter. Let's do the one ninth arc second, which should be about 10 meter. And let's zoom in once again over northern Utah, Logan. And here we go with our Spawn Creek. Okay, so we've got that selected. And if we come up here and click box or point, and we just kind of draw our box over that area and get it close enough. And we've got our elevation products, our 1 9th arc second. Um, and let's click find products. And let's click show search results. And it's not showing that we have anything available. Which there should be something available. Let's try the one third arc second. Okay, so here we go. We're getting the one third arc second. So let's go ahead and download that one. And we can click this download button right here. And it's going to download a zip file. And I'm going to put this right back in my folder again. This is going to download it as an arc, arc grid, which I don't want to deal with. So I'm going to see if I can download this in a different format, which it doesn't look like I can. And that's OK. So we'll just go ahead and download it still. So we'll download that in temp. And it's going to take just a minute. Oh, that's a lot. That's 329 megabytes. So that's going to take a little while to uh, download. I'm going to pause this while it does that, and then we'll come back. All right, we've got that downloaded. So we'll open my folder back up here, and we'll come back out to temp. This is going to be USGS. So let's say uh, extract files again, and we'll say OK. 
and that's going there. Give that a second to finish. Now we can go back into QGIS. Um, we'll go back to our browser here. We've got this. Okay. So this is a um, grid. So this is an arc grid, sorry, an arc grid, which is associated with a folder. So this folder here contains all the data we need. So we should be able to add this hdr.adf file, and that gives us our raster. So there it is. So now let's take a look. That's a bigger area. Let's just take a look at these. This should probably be a uh, um, 30 meter. Oh, this is actually, this is going to be in degrees. So you see how this is a really small number, times 10 to the negative fifth. This is going to be in units of degree. And this one, if I go to the properties, should be in units of meter, I'm guessing, in meters. And you can see that it's 10, 10, so that's 10 by 10. Um, so if we change the projection on this one, we'd get it in, uh, into meters. You can see it downloads a much larger area than uh, that first one we downloaded. If we swap it underneath, you can see our little area there. So anyway, that is how you can download uh, topographic data for the entire United States. I gave you those two methods um, of how to do it, one with the NRCS Geospatial Data Gateway and one with the USGS National Map, which we had a little bit of trouble getting through, but it worked out in the end. Um, I did say it was down for maintenance, so that could be why some of the things we tried did not work. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you want some data to work with while we work through some of these GDAL tutorials, uh, go ahead and download something you're interested in. What I will do is I'll go ahead and use uh, this DEM here so that if you want to go in and download the geospatial data gateway data the same way I did, you can have the same DEM and get the same results. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for some more tutorials coming up. Thanks for watching.